title suggests uh, this is going to be a massive Yabo pipes pipes and more pipes video uh, a video that I should well a bunch of videos all in one that I should have made ages ago but uh, because of lack of motivation and imagination and whatever else uh, it never got done so it's about time I did so making amends so anyway uh, damn pipe. Um, I am smoking, if it will actually stay lit, a uh, Peterson 304 uh, with some stockly twist plate. One of my favourites. This and lighter. Best fidget spinner for a pipe smoker you can ever get. Fantastic. Uh, you haven't got one, should get one. It's a good one. Uh, Anyway, uh, a couple of acknowledgements first. Uh, Cass Piper Cassidy and Tim, the Hermit Piper. Uh, both those guys att attempted to send me some uh, uh, Coniston and some Condor uh, and freaking customs intercepted it, so they never got here. So, but anyway, they should have been thanked any publicly anyway. So there we go. Um, I have got pipes freaking everywhere here. So I can't remember what order they came in, uh, but bear with. So anyway, I did a trade uh, with Dingus, Dingus McSwine. Um, he uh, wanted a backy flap and uh, uh, he offered a couple of Petersons in trade. And uh, yes, repping the Peterson. Uh, I'm a Pearson fan, what can you say? Um, so anyway, a couple of these pipes were his father's uh, and he generously uh, offered to trade these two pipes. Um, I came over, I gave him a little bit of a cleanup. Um, one of them is a uh, St. Paddy's Day uh, 150 shape. Uh, it's a, is it 2004 uh, Peterson uh, St. St. Patrick's Day pipe. Brilliant smoker, absolutely fantastic. Um, Dingus' father obviously took care of these pipes because they didn't need much at all. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, and a pipe I have been chasing forever. Now, they've always been available, but just never when I've had the money to get one. So uh, anyway, this is an ADS Bulldog uh, from Peterson, and I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a, um, a Donegal Rocky. Uh, with a silver band on it. Uh, I can't remember what, I think it's in, oh geez, what, I, I can't remember what age it is. But anyway, you can tell if you look up the uh, hallmark on it, but I absolutely love this pipe. Um, again, Dingus, uh, thank you very much for sending these. Um, yeah, it was a absolute pleasure to clean them up and I love them. I smoke them on a weekly basis. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Dingus also sent a bunch of other stuff over as well, um, you know, a card and some uh, stickers uh, and uh, there was this strange little crocodile, alligator, brooch thing that he sent. Um, uh, my wife has that, it's up there somewhere, I should have bought it now to show you, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, that and there was a... He sent it over in this cool cigar box. Uh, this is, a, I think it was a Filthy Hooligan cigar box. Uh, it now uh, holds video cameras and, and it's a great little storage box. I love it. Uh, so, you know, the package alone for this would have been enough. <laughs> it was brilliant. So, yeah, that one gets used. Um, all right, moving on. Um, Simon, uh, London calling Simon, uh, he, uh, 
felt he should uh, reciprocate something with the advice that I've given him as far as wood toning is concerned. Totally unnecessary. Uh, he sent me over a really nice uh, little Parker Dublin. Um, I love this thing. I thought I wouldn't because I generally tend to get uh, Dublins a little hot towards the end of the bowl. And, uh, it, but this is an absolute pleasure to smoke. It was unsmoked uh, when he sent it. Um, I have since absolutely hammered this thing. Uh, he also sent me over something that was really, really hard to find and impossible to get. Uh, he sent me over some Murray's Warrior plug. Uh, if you've never had it, uh, it's a Virginia Burley plug. It's one of them really hard English you know, you've got to use a very, very sharp knife to, to slice off. Uh, really, really spectacular tobacco. Unfortunately, as I said, it's out of production now. So it's a quite a rarity. So, you know, Simon, thank you very much for that. Uh, he also sent over a, uh, a tin of um, the Mac Baron Latakia rolls. Uh, I had a couple of bowls of that. Unfortunately, it's not to my taste. So I sent it on to... Uh, uh, both Aussie Pipe and Mick and um, Big Hippo uh, Jenkins. Uh, those two are enjoying it. And uh, you know, if you're not gonna enjoy a tobacco, at least give it to someone who will. So uh, around about the same time, uh, I got a box load of pipes from my old buddy Pipe Tree. Now Pipe Tree, if you don't know, you should subscribe. And I'll put everyone's link down the bucket. Um, Actually, incidentally, uh, Big Hippo just made a video first time in two years. Uh, you got a, uh, a BJV pipe. Uh, you should go watch it and subscribe. Uh, Big Hippo, class act. Um, anyway, uh, this boatload of pipes that Tree sent me over. Uh, now, he knows my, my things were all things Falcon. Um, and uh, he uh, managed to... Oh, there is a yellow one there. Uh, Tree manages to find stuff uh, at these car boot sales, uh, and yeah, uh, I, I zoom with him most uh, nights for me. And uh, you'll say to Tree, "Hey, have you seen this or have you heard this?" Oh yeah, I've got this right here, and he just pulls it out of thin air. I'm sure he's part, you know, David Copperfield, you know, and it's always it cost him a fiver at the car boot, uh, which is just hilarious. But I've been after a Falcon Bantam. Uh, for quite a while now Falcon Phantom uh, is you know it just looks like a typical uh, Falcon but they're just a tad bit shorter they're about half an inch uh, to three quarters of an inch shorter than, than a standard Falcon and uh, I never had one in my collection and uh, well he thought I needed one so he sent that over it's got the dinkiest little bowl on it it's fantastic but he also sent over uh, a couple of um, Alcos. Now, they're, they're, uh, they are Falcons, uh, but they're a little different. Uh, so these are the, the Falcon Alcos. And I've, again, given them a bit of a polish up. Uh, I've smoked both these. They're fantastic smokers. Uh, this one here, you can put one of the little Falcon filters in if you really want to. Uh, so, yeah, they were cool. He sent me, and again, he knows my things for Petersons. Uh, so he sent me over a couple of Petersons to muck around with and restore. These things have lived a life. Uh, I've not gotten yet to, to cleaning them up. And uh, so they, they're, I'll get to them in time. Uh, that one's a 312 uh, shape, and that one's a 314 shape. Uh, as I said, they're, they've, they've lived a life. <laughs> so uh, a little repair and... and uh, some TLC and these will get smoking again for sure. Uh, and again, Peterson, a Meersham, a Meersham Pete. Uh, this is the Aboriginal finish. Uh, don't ask me why they call it Aboriginal finish. I have no idea, uh, but that's that's what they call it, the Aboriginal finish. That's a 314 system. Uh, and he also sent a, uh, a this is an un, unknown, uh, the manufacturer's not known, but it's a, a, an African uh, block mirror print, so which is really nice. Uh, and this thing, uh, this is a made in uh, I think it's Vienna, it's got Salzburg written on the, on the front in script. Uh, it has a you know, flip top wind cap, it's unsmoked, uh, as far as I know it's briar. 
uh, has a, like a a, um, a Gravo faux peeling uh, for, for a stem. But I uh, uh, have no idea how old it is, uh, but I will smoke it uh, eventually. So uh, another Falcon stem, <laughs> like I need more Falcon stems. Uh, and he also, his tree also sent this cool uh, church warden, uh, dinky little bowl, and uh, the, the, it's actually kind of a calabash thing going on because the, the bowl actually comes out, uh, which is really nice. Uh, we talked about me fashioning another, a bigger, deeper bowl for it, uh, which I will get to eventually. And um, yeah, just it's, it is bright. Uh, the brand is uh, Ratos or Ratos, uh, which is, I've never seen anything like it, so that's cool. Um, what's next? Um, oh, that's what I forgot to tell you. Dingus also made me a clock. Uh, put a clock mechanism into, the, into a tobacco tin. Um, there's the, uh, the mechanism back there. So it does work, I just haven't put a battery in it yet, uh, so that's really cool. Uh, I had one of these a few years ago, uh, and I don't know ever what happened to it, but it was a cylinder's black tin with a clock in it. That was really cool too. Uh, okay, Phil Rivara. Phil Rivara, hell of a guy. Um, he is one of my mentors when it comes to um, you know, making stuff. Uh, if I've got an, an issue or, or a problem I can't work out, you know, I've only got to get on the on the phone to, to Phil, and, and he's he's good with advice. So, um, I had a couple of uh, billiard pipe stumbles that were completed. Uh, and they were old. Uh, some chap here in Australia sent them to me uh, a few years back. And uh, he said, if you can make some stems for them, you know, keep them, you know, go if you like. Well, yeah, making stems is not one of my fortes. I, I don't have that, that ability or gift. Um, so I thought, well, send it to the guy who can. So I sent these, these uh, pipe stumbles to Phil Rivara and um, along with a, um, another pipe that he made me uh, to get uh, a little bit of re uh, restoration done. Uh, the pipe I sent him was a pipe that he gave me uh, about six years ago. And it's one of his, you know, I call it his signature Lavat because uh, that's what I think Phil should be known for his Lavats. Anyway, at the time, uh, the stain had gone a bit funky and there was this almost like a it had been drawn with red marker across the front of the bowl. So I sent this back to Phil. Uh, he stripped it and restained it and, uh, you know, just a bang up job. This is one of my most favorite pipes. It's going to the grave with me. I love this thing. Uh, it absolutely slaughters, you know, any Virginia flake you put in it. So um, it was nice to have this back again. Um, now the two billiards, I call them the twins because they are literally identical. So uh, I have smoked uh, this one and it's actually started to color, although the, there you go, it's got a bit dark on that side. Uh, this one I haven't smoked. Uh, they're not what you call classics as far as grain is concerned, um, but we both think age-wise they're around about 1920s, 1930s, given the size of the bowl uh, and, and the styling. So uh, drilling is absolutely spot on, perfect. Uh, you couldn't ask uh, for, for a better engineered pipe, but they weigh absolutely nothing. Uh, they are just light as light. If you're a clencher, it, it's yeah, a dream to, to smoke these. Um, the other thing, if you uh, haven't been watching uh, Phil or even Briar Blues' channel, uh, Phil's been making uh, reamers, pipe reamers. So uh, I said to him, I'd like to have a stab at one of them. So he sent me over a couple of these uh, reamer blanks. So that's them there, three-sided reamers, and they are sharp as hell. 
these were made by uh, Patches Seller, Mike Perks, in Canada. Uh, so these things are uh, just, it's a brilliant idea, it really is. So what I'm doing with it uh, is I'm making blanks. Uh, so this will be one of them. Uh, actually, this is one of two. I've made two of these blanks. But um, we got a mixture of uh, jacaranda and cedar, so both Australian woods. And uh, that reamer will be going in this. So uh, I think it's going over to Briar Blues uh, to go on his side. So um, along with, uh, when I make them, uh, a couple of backy flaps. So you'll be able to uh, find it there. Uh, the other thing Phil said was a couple of uh, delights. Uh, he sent me over some uh, McClellan's Red and Black and uh, one of the best Orientals ever made, uh, McClellan's Black Sea Socum. Uh, so these are a 2013 tin and a 2016 tin. Uh, I have an original run of this stuff that I got at the Chicago Pipe Show uh, back in 2015. So uh, it's nice to be able to smoke some and not have to worry about opening up my other tin. Uh, the other thing Phil sent was some uh, Regents Flake and uh, tucked away in the top of this uh, is some Coniston Cup Plug, uh, which is really, really nice stuff. Now, hang on a minute. Not Coniston Cup Plug. Uh, Condor Long Cut, sorry. Or the Brown Pad. Yeah, Condor. So, yeah. Whatever. Uh, so there's that. Uh, <coughs> what else is there? Oh, other pipes that Phil said uh, is a uh, Caminetto business. Uh, this thing, it, it, 1970s. Um, again, it's another pipe that's lived a life. Uh, it's got a uh, silver band put on it as a repair because uh, it was cracking the, in the shank. And uh, the other thing, it's got a slight crack uh, down to about here on the bowl but it still smokes so damn nice and that stem surprisingly is so so comfortable so if you ever see these pipes and think I'm not really sure whether I want an umpal or something bent that much don't overlook them because they can be quite surprising and that bowl looks massive but it's not uh, it, it's it's one of them bowls that tapers down in the bottom of the of the bowl so that was really cool uh, and this pipe, uh, this is what you call a, uh, hang on a minute, I'm gonna get it right here. Uh, the jet air pipe even comes with its own literature. Uh, so this thing is unsmoked. It is, was made in the 1960s and there was only 50 of them ever made, uh, according to my best research. Uh, I haven't smoked it yet. I still haven't made my mind up as to whether I want to smoke it. Uh, but the idea of it is you've got a, um, a moisture uh, trap just here, uh, also where your tars and whatever else gather. And this knob up here is actually an air valve, uh, so you can adjust your, your, your draw. Uh, and interestingly enough too, it comes with a, uh, a stinger style um, tenon. So very similar to what uh, Grovo or, or K Woody have had around about the same time so uh yeah unsmoked um quite a rarity um it's uh one of these pipes that someone got in their head that uh it'd be a good idea to you know engineer a or scientifically engineer a pipe so you know your smoke goes in here and up there and you know out the stem so i do it backwards so so yeah uh a lot of goodies, a lot of goodies. Um, what else have I forgotten now? Ah, one more thing. Mr. Brian Blues himself, Mike, uh, generously sent me over one coffee mug. And yeah, it's full. I love that thing. Great mug. Um, uh, I'm on the endless quest to find the perfect coffee mug. Uh, what else have I got here to tell you about? 
Um, oh. The other thing that Phil sent me over was a couple of pieces of quilted maple. And I made a uh, flake plate out of this one. And I'll probably do it out to the other one as well. But the, uh, the chatoyance in this thing is just ridiculous. It's a really, really nice piece of wood. Uh, so, yeah. If you're interested, give me a yell. Swipe plug. Uh, everything's for sale. <laughs> so, there is that. Um, I can't think of anything else I want to tell you. Uh, I've got a few um, projects planned uh, for here in the workshop. Um, uh, as I said, a couple of reamers. Uh, I've got a couple of ashtrays planned. Uh, the four um, backy flaps. If you don't know what a backy flap is, this is a backy flap. Um, I make these out of Australian timbers. This one's made out of uh, silky oak. And it's just a portable way of carrying your tobacco around. So, you put your tobacco in there and slip that in your pocket or your back pocket or whatever. And yeah, just another way of carrying your tobacco around. Uh, the idea comes from um, the one up backy flap or the Parker backy flap that were made back in the, was the 1930s and 1960s. They were made out of Bakelite back then. Uh, and to find an original one-up backy flap now is, um, you know, quite a feat. They're uh, hard to come by. Um, generally, you go for around about the hundred US dollar mark on eBay if you can find them, uh, depending on the condition of them, of course. Uh, so yeah, so that's what's happening in here. Anyway, I have gabbed on enough. Holy crap, 22 minutes. All right, hope you're all doing well. Um, Stay well. Uh, Beans, if you watch this, uh, hope you're doing better. Beans, if you don't know, came down with a dose of the Rona, uh, both he and his wife. Uh, so not too uh, not too good, but they're recovering at last communication I had with them. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, coming soon, BJ Beat Bite. It's in the mail, it's somewhere in the ether. So uh, I shall do a video for that arrival in a timely fashion. <laughs> anyway, take it easy guys. See ya.